course, we don't have that issue around here, but I think people, people will be headed to the water a little bit more over the next several days because of the heat. We're at 83 here. This one graphic tells really the story of the next several days. A lot of heat building, and there'll be some showers and thunderstorms from time to time. Our next batch is going to increase the chances as we go through tomorrow afternoon, especially though in tomorrow evening. Uh, locally now, it's 81 in Port Huron, 83 in Lapeer. Same thing in Detroit and Monroe, 82 in Ann Arbor right now. Adrian is at 84, so is Troy. Yep, it's another step up today. We're 12 degrees warmer now at the 4 o'clock hour than we were yesterday. And we're going to go up again tomorrow. We'll flirt with maybe a flirt with 90 in a few spots. Most of us probably get real toasty, but don't make it. So we're pretty good shape now. Some of these high clouds from this next system come in as the evening goes along. This will get here a little bit overnight, then kind of refire late tomorrow with the heat of the day, humidity up as well during the day. And so can't rule out a tornado. That's a very slight chance. Same thing with some flooding. But the rains, of course, could be heavy as the downpours go by, the thunderstorms go by. 60 mile per hour winds, the most likely problem if you get a problem, and it's an isolated case in most of situations. And then hail to one inch is also a possibility. Again, this is Thursday evening uh, going on for that time frame. So this evening, few clouds start to move in. High clouds are not weather makers. It's still 81 degrees at 8 o'clock in Detroit. Little cooler, of course, outside the city. Southwest winds 10 to 15 bumping those temperatures up a little bit. Same thing tonight, south to southwest. They're not very strong, but we're toasty, so we won't drop a whole bunch. 67 for low in Detroit with partly cloudy skies instead of 59, which is average. Then here we go tomorrow, 89 for a high in Detroit. Uh, spots outside the city, especially north and south and east, probably are 87, 88. Uh, maybe we hit 90 out by US 23. We'll see, but the storm chances increases in the afternoon and especially even more in the evening. Southwest winds 15 to 25. Again, some of those could be strong, possibly severe late in the day. This is tomorrow morning with what it will feel like the heat index that's called, right? It could top out in the low 90s. So even if we don't hit that with the temperature, it'll feel like that, I think, in the afternoon. 80 on Friday, Saturday, back to 87 Sunday. Look at next week, low to mid-90s, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday.